There we go, the fish on. Louisiana redfish at its best. Rooster on the wild coast. Florida Keys bonefish on the Hobie. This week on Hobie Outdoor Adventures, we're in Richmond Hill, Georgia, a charming small town just south of Savannah. The 2016 Hobie Bass Open winner and Hobie fishing team member Ron Champion invites Kevin Nakata to his home for a fun fishing day on a private lake of the Waterways Township. Man, I'm so excited to be here. I know Ron's been talking it up over the phone a lot. And when he says we're gonna crack them, it's gonna be good. So I'm ready to go out and go fishing. It's gonna be awesome. This lake is an amazing fishery. Uh, it is a Bill Dance Signature Series lake. Uh, there's any kind of cover and structure you want to fish. It's got grass, it's got lily pads, it's got ledges, flats, drops. It's everything that a bass fisherman is looking for. Ron's a great angler. He's a great kayak fisherman, one of the best right now in the industry. He uh, kayak fishes bass tournaments and wins a lot of them. So you know he's got some talent. He's a great fishing team member. One of the biggest things that he is a user of and believer in is the Hogan Raw Drive, and that's very important because he loves to go out, catch fish. He's hands-free most of the time, turning the boat with his with the steering handle, but casting. And that's a really important, effective, you know, style of fishing. He's uh, definitely shown how well it proves itself, even in the tournament world. Well, this is my rig. Uh, it's a 2017 PA-14. Uh, it's got the new 180 drive um, with the re reverse, which is a game changer as far as I'm concerned for this boat. I'm running Lowrance Electronics. I've got the new uh, 9TI from Lowrance, an amazing, amazing unit. The uh, power pole on the back, the micro power pole with the battery pack, it's got everything that I need at any time, any body of water I go fish. It's ready to go. You've been hyping this lake up, but do you really think we're gonna catch some fish today? Well, this is like kind of catching fish in a barrel. So if you don't <laughs> catch a fish today, man, I may have to. My job's forfeited. <laughs> we might have to dog. <laughs> Let's go catch them, dude. Let's go do it, buddy. I'm looking forward to it. Woo! It's kind of taboo to catch one on the first cast, ain't it? Supposedly. Yeah. I hope I don't get one on the first cast then. But I'm really hoping. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Woo! Spicy. Not a bad way to start the morning. First fish. <laughs> All right, here comes the local. No, it's just whooping me. <laughs> the baby. And yeah, wasn't that back-to-back -back cast? <sighs> this is gonna be called the Take a Kid Fishing Show. If you can see, this fish has swallowed this bait, got this bait down in his stomach. So what I do is I take my, the weight of my tungsten and I drop it and bring it right out the fish's gill plate, just like this. And then I grab the line that actually is tied to the hook and I pull it down. What that's done is that gives me a chance to grab this hook and rotate it and push it right back up. And I can pull it right out of that fish's uh, That fish is healthy. That fish is not bleeding. Uh, and I got my bait back, and he's going to he's going to swim away. He thought he was still hooked. Good fish. Yeah. Nice. Off of that secret bait. Nice. <laughs> Did you have my bait in your, your bait. pocket? <laughs> that is so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I switched that Texas rig with that rattlesnake rig, that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
two pops and it was on <laughs> in that same spot, man. All right, buddy. Take care. He was wrapped by that rock. Nice. He's a little guy. Somebody cast it by my rock. Um, what? What? <laughs> I didn't. I don't know what you're talking about. Who's that? <laughs> There's got to be a rule against that. <laughs> Somebody All right. Over here snatching. <laughs> little one. Just a little one. Nice little fish there. See Same that. quality, the cookie cutter size. Hobie Outdoor Adventures will be right back on the beautiful Bill Dance Signature Lakes after the break. Hobie Outdoor Adventures is brought to you by Gerber Fishing Gear, Fish Beyond, Lorenz, Find. Navigate, dominate. Power Pole Micro Anchor. Swift, silent, secure, and small. And by Aftco, American Fishing Tackle Company. Hobie Outdoor Adventures Kevin Nakata is invited to Ron Champion's home for bass fishing, literally in his backyard in Waterways Township, Richmond Hill, Georgia. Now, Ron was the 2016 Hobie Bass Open champion and represented Team USA in Hobie Fishing World 6. I did win the Hobie Bass Open last year on Kentucky Lake, and winning that tournament was the most unbelievable experience that I've ever had as a tournament. It's, it was one of my best accomplishments. To stand up on that stage and accept the trophy and the check and to see all those guys cheering you on and know that they're legitimate and happy for you, man, what an awesome feeling that was and then getting the berth and going to the Worlds and going down to Leeville and representing Team USA. The Hobie Worlds event is the most unbelievable tournament that I've ever been to. The way that they treat the anglers, you're fishing against men from, and women from all over the world. It's amazing the different countries that was there and the walks of life, but we all have the same thing in common. We love fishing from the kayak. That's my goal going into every year fishing now is to make it back to the Worlds. That's it. Was, it was, a, it was a true, unbelievable experience in my fishing career. Hey, and don't forget, the 2018 Hobie Bass Open is in June. Register and find out more about the event at hobie.com forward slash bass open. So this opens up into a, a nice little bay. Mm -hmm. So there's a little spawning shelf on this left-hand side. Uh -huh. So it drops off and you've got a little deep channel. It kind of cuts through, should catch some fish right in here. Like that one right there. Well, that might be a little better. Oh, that's a good one. There he is. I think I got one to match you there, Ron. Oh, oh. don't be saying Not that. Not anymore. Man. I guess if you don't see it on camera, it doesn't count, count right? <laughs> There he is. Good fish. Yes, it is. Good fish. Good fish. Yeah, I gotcha. They fight hard, man. That is crazy. All right, buddy. Thank you for a good fight. There we go. Ooh. They are just so pretty in here. There's nothing going on back here. That fish uh -huh. did not come out from underneath your boat. I thought so. You're kidding me. <laughs> oh my god. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. So we've been fishing a couple hours and I've developed my pattern. I know what the fish are doing. If I cast right at Kevin's boat, it seems to be they, they hang out right underneath his boat. So that's, uh, that's the pattern that I'm going to target, at least for the next couple hours. I think we'll be all right. <laughs> oh, you're an evil man. You're an evil person. <laughs> There's a lot of fish in this channel right now. I'm shooting side imaging, and I'm picking up a lot of fish. I'm in six foot of water. I'm shooting out about 20 feet that side, and uh, I'm picking up quite a few fish right on this little drop. 
I think I'm gonna swap back over um, and fish some deeper stuff. Good looking fish. Nice fish right there. It is. Nice jumper, man. Pretty fish. Oh. <laughs> nice fish. Long fish, ain't it? My desperation technique is working out, Ron. Woo! Nice. Still fighting me. All right. This fish just mean. Huh. Pretty. Good fish. Woo! Everybody see ya. Fish, huh? Oh. <laughs> it is really peaceful out here though, I tell you. It's in all your tournament life, you know, this is a nice little getaway. You're still practicing. It's kind of funny, you know. This lake keeps me in tournament form. Being able to come out here and and fish all kind of different techniques test new baits out, prototype stuff. Very blessed to, to get to, to do this. Well, coming up, it's late afternoon. Kevin and Ron decide to change it up a little Hello. and throw topwater baits. Stay tuned. Hobie Outdoor Adventures has been brought to you by Hobie Polarized, trusted, quality, heritage. St. Croix Rod, best rods on earth. Rail Blaza, hold everything with Rail Blaza. And by Scotty, the way to fish. Welcome back to Hobie Outdoor Adventures. We're at Ron Champion's home in Richmond Hill, Georgia. When we showed up at Ron's house, Ron's garage is packed, crazy full of fishing lures. Blew my mind, it looks like a freaking tackle shop in there. I'm a tackle nut, tackle freak, tackle guru. You can call it what you want to call it. I have a three car garage with no car in the garage. <laughs> I have a lot of boats uh, and a lot of fish and tackle. That's my little place to get away. My wife, she, uh, she thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> uh, a lot of people think I'm crazy when they see my garage, but uh, it's my setup. You can't never have too much tackle. Now let's get back on the water and do some more fishing on the Bill Dance Signature Lakes. Biggest fish I've caught out of this lake so far. Sure is. So what I did is wanted to check and see if the top water bite was starting to get better. So I picked up a ribbit, white ribbit frog that I had tied on. Started working the edges of these lily pads. And uh, I mean that fish just annihilated. It's the biggest fish I've caught out of this lake. Oh, 
It's feeding time. Just like me, sun's going down, I get hungry. Bass are the same way. It's feeding time for them. They are going to be chewing. I mean, they are chewing. We've, we've caught a bunch of fish. Woo! All right, hit right at the boat. Nice. Um, finally got one, Ron. On the ribbit? On the ribbit. Got him. Got him, baby. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> nice one. Ooh. Top bar in the evening. Can't get any better than that. <sighs> on that, uh, on that rivet right there. Just pow, eat it right up. Beautiful fish in here, gosh. They're strong, got some teeth on them too. All right, buddy, see you later. I see a lot of professional fishermen that fish from bass boats coming over and start fishing kayak fishing. There's a lot of a lot of tournament trails out there that are paying big, big money. The national championship next year is going to pay $100,000 to one angler. That can be life-changing money to somebody. I mean, it's the sport is growing so fast and and I think it's awesome. You got there's always tournaments to for the smaller fields for guys that only want to pay the $10 or $20 to get in, but then there's going to be bigger tournaments and I think there's even going to be more that's coming down the line. Bigger tournaments, bigger payouts. There is a true chance for kayak anglers now to turn this into a career. Tournament fishing, kayak fishing, promoting their sponsors. There's opportunities opening up for guys every single year and I think it's going to do nothing but get better. More bass fishing action in Richmond Hills, Southern Georgia, when we come back. Hobie Outdoor Adventures has been brought to you by Plano, protect your passion. Mustad, defining fishing hooks since 1877. And by O'Meals, changing the way you eat outdoors. Welcome back to Hobie Outdoor Adventures. We're bass fishing on the Bill Dan Signature Lakes in Waterways Township, Richmond Hill, Georgia. Oh, oh he is. He's there. I got him. Catching a fish on top water is the pinnacle of bass fishing. It is what you seek, you know, what you want almost every single time you go out there. The visual strike, the excitement of not knowing how big that fish might be when you set the hook. But that's the exciting thing about top water, you just never ever know. But when you finally get the connection, it is the best thing ever. Hobie Outdoor Adventures is all about the adventure. The thrill of, you know, the ups and downs and never knowing what's gonna happen. This has been an adventure just like that. You know, I didn't know coming across the country from California all the way to Georgia to visit Ron, how good fishing was gonna be. And the adventure also goes into the struggle of catching the fish, you know, figuring them out. You know, we get through all those small fish to try to get that one big fish, maybe that one really cool shot of a fish coming up out of the water and grabbing a top water. You know, that's what we live for. That's the adventure, you know, trying to make sure that we're showing to you guys at home what it is that we're doing out here. Hey, is that a bald eagle? Yeah. It looks like it. I think it was. I made up with fishing. It's, it's life. I don't know what I would do if I couldn't go fishing. My, my family is everything to me, and fishing is right there with it. There he is. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, my God. I mean, you can't, if you looked in there, it's in there. But man, what a hog. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. 
Mm. What's in the net? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I got a good one. Nice. Look at that thing. <laughs> That's a long fish. It is a long one. Put it on a scale. What do you think there, Ron? I'd say it fishes close to seven pounds. I would think the same thing. Not even close. Five two. Five three. Five three. Five three. Skinny. Wow. <laughs> it is skinny. All right, Ron, let's get this beast back in the water. It's been a great day. We've caught fish in many different ways, and thank you, sir, for getting us on this lake. And Absolutely. Glad to, glad to do it, and it's been a pleasure. All right. Well, join us next week on Hobie Outdoor Adventures. You never know what kind of big fish we're going to hook into. And don't forget the 2018 Hobie Bass Open on Kentucky Lake in June. It's one in a series of U.S. and Canadian qualifying events for the Hobie Fishing World's 8. Log on to Hobie.com forward slash Bass Open for more information. Hey, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week on a new episode of Hobie Outdoor Adventures.